Here is some hardware. I'm just referring to as hardware that we use for control of the bird when the bird is out being exhibited as an ambassador anim animal. And I'm taking here, I'm just letting you get a see, these are what is referred to as the Jesses. Two pieces of leather. We like to use kangaroo leather because kangaroo leather stretches in both directions and is very strong. It's not always kangaroo leather. But in falconry we do falconry we do use a lot of kangaroo leather. But you have both adjusts that go onto the anklets that's on the bird, tie and comes in here to a swivel. And that the swivel's there, so uh, the leash, this is referred to as the leash, has a an end stop on it. So all practical purposes, your jesses go to the swivel. Your leash goes on this end of the swivel. The head there gets, and then so with these being to the bird, each leg of the bird, and now this can swivel and things don't get all tangled up. This is what I refer to as the hardware for the bird. So on Delilah here, the spectacled owl, and so I'm gonna bring her up close. I'm gonna try to do this and get you an opportunity to see under all her fluff. But here is the, what's referred to as the anklet. You can see the grommet there. And the jess will go through that, go through that grommet. These anklets are a little thick for her. So I actually want to narrow those down. I'm gonna trim them and make them more narrow, these anklets. And uh I will do that off video. I'm not going to take the time and show you on video. But that is some of the hardware that we use for when we have birds. Like when you saw, or if you haven't seen it yet, go back and watch my video of the falcon eating, for example. Um, the system is basically the same. You'll see the two jesses come down from each leg, tie together to some sort of a swivel. And then there'll be a leash attached to that. And then that would be tied to the glove or tied to a perch, that type of a thing. And it just keeps the birds um, under control. Uh, one, of course, if they don't fly away. And the other is to keep them safe. And uh, I'm gonna go ahead and take her out here. What do you see there, Delilah? You're getting all, all puffed up. And uh, you can see I can, I can hold her without using a glove, obviously. Uh, her talons aren't as sharp as they could be um, and she's not grabbing on hard if she were to grab on hard even with dull talons it would hurt and uh, again I'll put her back down okay, girl, come on up here there we go come on there we go have Delilah here with her jesses. Now we call this being jessed up. She has her jesses on, on the anklets, on her foot. So she's jessed right now. And I'll grab my swivel. And my swivel, I use this style of swivel. Uh, there's different styles that are out there on the market, of course. This is just my preferred style. And I will um, put this on. I'm trying to show a little bit how this works. Not the easiest to do on video, but we can certainly give it a try. I'm trying to do this close to the camera so you can kind of see. So therefore she's not sitting on her block. I've worked that swivel into there. So now we have the, the Jesses. Come on, you clumsy thing. Let's get you back where you belong on the glove. There we go. Awesome. So now the both of the Jesses are here coming down to the swivel. Now we put the leash through it, through the hole here. Pull the leash through. That's why these gloves have this ring, this D ring here. Tie what's called the falconry knot to the D-ring.
take the last two fingers put the leash tied here so nothing gets tangled up and there's a bird that is just up she has a leash on she can sit on the glove now if she were to try to fly away she's not going to go anywhere she's in control of control i put her back up here on on this block like that give her some slack on do all this and i can even talk to you like this here if she were to take off if she could fly if she's a little older than she is and and she wanted to try to fly away she's connected to my glove i have complete control over her. it's really important that we handle these birds properly i will say something uh back oh, roughly 30 years ago i hate to admit that but when I was learning the art of falconry and um, learning from the sponsor that I was apprenticing under, one of the things I learned, and which is true, is if you only have one leg, control of one leg, and not both of the legs together, and only one leg is tied or attached to a jess, the pelvis can break. So if the bird jumps, we call that baiting. So if the, jer the, the bird jumps from the fist, with just one leg attached and is dangling by one leg, it can break the pelvis area. That's something we never want to have happen. Inexperienced people dealing with birds and they're trying to figure out leg system and uh, they don't call use the terms jesses and that type of thing. But people that are dealing with birds and haven't been trained properly, they will do this set up or they could, they could do this set up improperly. And really jeopardize the health, the longevity of the bird based on user error, just not knowing what to do. So when you go to a bird of prey program, for an example, say you go somewhere where they're doing flight demonstrations, you maybe you're at a zoological park and they're showing you that Eurasian eagle, owl, or whatever it might be, just know those handlers, they're just not somebody that just that morning, hey, go ahead and handle the bird. There is a training that comes with these things and it's hands-on um, experiences that uh, provide safety for the birds, health and longevity. At all costs, the birds are the highest priority. They are in our care. They are in our management. It's what we do. And of course, accidents always happen. We know that. But we do everything possible that we can and to do things properly and correctly. See, here we go, here's a bait. And she's a young owl, so she doesn't have much wing power right now, but that was a bait. And she tried flying over into this part of the yard and she kinda, I just put her back up on the glove. I barely broke my sentence as I was speaking because I've done that so many different times. That just comes with the experience. But as I was saying before Delilah tried to bait, and to go to a different area, girl, is we do everything we can for the safety and the protection of the birds, the safe handling techniques. Um, but I wanna get up closer here, and I'm going to show you some of the hardware. Um, I, all, I have already showed you the hardware on the owl, the spectacled owl. But here's, here's Felcor, say hi to Felcor. But you can see the system is basically exactly the same. I, would, uh, I have the leash. Here is a swivel. It's a different type of swivel than I had on the owl. And, uh, and then down here is, this is a leash extender. But then it comes to these two, these two uh, jesses. One goes to each leg. And on, on, the, on each leg, there's the, the grommet. You can see where the, where the jess goes through. Hopefully you can see that there in the video. Tying her leash on, getting rid of the slack. In case she baits, she won't get tangled in that loose leash there and get tangled up in that. So now I have complete control of this bird.